Hi there, my name is Randy Jenny and this is a short video teaching you about file management on a Mac. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure we are in the Finder. So one way to do that is to click on this icon in the bottom left called Finder. If it hasn't already opened up a Finder window, then a new one will open up. Um, so just to show you that, so there's that window. And we can open additional windows by going up here and new Finder window. Now, in these Finder windows, there are um, a couple of views that I think are most useful. So one of them is this column view. So if I click on folders, it shows me what's inside that folder, and I could keep digging down and down. Uh, the other view is this list view which gives me these nice headings, name, date modified, size, kind, and I'll come back to that later. So those are the two kind of go-to views that we're going to make use of. Now these windows that open up, the finder window that we opened up, we can resize it. We can grab the left, we can, we can grab one of the edges, we can grab one of the corners. So we can control these windows. We can also grab it by the title bar and move it around. Uh, against the left, against the right, etc. So you have quite a bit of control over the size and position of these windows. Okay, now what we want to do is inside documents we want to create a new folder called McEwen. So there's a few ways to do that. You can go up here, File, New Folder, or a simple way is just to right click in an empty space and it'll create you can create a new folder. So I'm going to call this one McEwen. Now, if that folder is highlighted when you go to create another folder, so new folder, it will place it inside that folder. So inside McEwen, I want to create another folder, and I'm going to call this one, and make that window a little wider, I'm going to call this one Business Computing. And inside Business Computing, I'm going to create another new folder and call this one Assignments. And inside Assignments, I'm going to create another new folder called Greater Excel 1. Now, I'm going to change slightly in how I'm uh, producing these folders. So I'm going to right-click beside, or in an empty spot, beside Greater Excel 1. And I'm going to create another new folder and call it Greater Excel 2. And you're going to create all the rest of the folders. So you'll notice that once you get down to creating folders for Word and for PowerPoint, if I go greater Word 1 and another new folder, greater PowerPoint, just greater PPT, I used that abbreviation. So they tend to sort in a useful order, although we're going to cover Word before we get to PowerPoint in the course, but the greater Excel folders float to the top. Now, I'm just going to go back a little bit, because beside business computing, I encourage you to make folders for your other courses. So maybe you're taking an English course, etc. So this way they're all under McEwen, but each course has its own folder, and that'll help you stay organized so you don't have a bunch of documents called Document 1, Document 2, and things like that. Okay, now, um, these folders that we created for Greater Excel 1, Excel 2, etc., we need to download the, the files that are going to um, that we're going to need in those folders. So right now we're just kind of harvesting these files. Later on you're going to actually do the graders and you'll need the files. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. Okay, so I'm going to go 
to a browser. So I've got Chrome running and I've already um, gone into my lab. So I can uh, download the files for Excel Grader 1. Um, and I know that in here, in my lab, it, the folders are named slightly different, Excel Grader 1 rather than Grader Excel 1. But please follow the instructions on the assignment because I want all of the G's together to sort together. So, to get these files, I'm going to go into Excel Grader 1. There's a warning that uh, you need to download your own files and don't let anybody else have access to them. So we're going to click Start. And we're going to download materials. So I'm going to click on this download button. Now, if you've done the setup assignment, <clears throat> one of the steps in there was to uh, change the browsers so that they would ask you where you want to save the files. So if you've done that, it, it will bring up this dialog box and then I can position myself in the right place so I can go to Documents, into McEwen, into Business Computing, Assignments, and into Greater Excel 1, and then just click Save. <clears throat> And I'll do the same with the next two files. So download this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And it remembers where I left off. So it offers to put it in the same folder. And that serves our needs. So save. And download the last one. And same folder. Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to close. And I'm going to close this tab and go back to the course materials. So I'm going to do the same with Excel Grader 2, just to reinforce the idea that we don't want um, the, the files to go into the wrong folder. So I'm going to go to Download Materials and click Download, but I want to be careful because this one needs to go into Grader Excel 2. So I kind of climb back up one level, climb back down one level, and then the greater 2 file will go into the greater 2 folder. And same with the next two. Yep. And the last one. Yep. And you're going to continue and download all of the, um, the six Excel grader uh, folders are going to be filled. The four Word folders folders are going to be filled and the four PowerPoint folders will get filled up with all of these greater files. Okay, so the other thing we need for the file management assignment is something called student data files. So I'm going to go back to the course and I'm going to go into file management and I'm going to flip that triangle down and I'm going to go into the file management assignment and one of the items in there is this MGTS 107 student data files so I'm going to click on that and I'm supposed to save that into business computing so I'm going to save it to there and that might take a little while to download so now, when I go back out to a Finder window, I should see those student data files. So, um, normally you can just double-click on this, or uh, sometimes there's an uh, open command or an expand command, depending on which software and which operating system you're using. So I'll just double-click on it. It produces this um, folder full of uh, files. And at that point, um, I need to create a bunch of additional folders. So I'm going to make a new folder called File Management Inside Assignments. So I'm going to click on Assignments. Then over here I'm going to create a new folder called File Management. Inside file management, I'm going to create a bunch more folders. So I'm going to go new folder, another 
Inside that one, I'm going to create a folder called time. Inside that one, I'm going to create a folder called and. And inside that one, I'm going to create a folder called place. And then if you are looking at the assignment sheet, you'll notice that the next folder I need to create is boy. But boy is not inside place. Boy needs to be back up here at the same level as another. So I'm going to click and right click in the blank space below another. Do new folder. And this one is boy. And then inside boy, we do meets etc. So I'll show you a little trick. If we change the view here to um, list and we go back to save and we click on documents. So now under McEwen I can see a couple of folders but here's the neat trick. If you hold down the option key while you click on the little triangle or chevron, it, it expands all of those folders out. So, um, and you can collapse and expand them as you need them. So, this gives you a really nice bird's eye view of all of the folders that begin with another time and place, boy meets his love, etc., etc. So, that window might be useful. And then what you might want to do is open another finder window. And for this folder, or for this window, I would suggest maybe changing the view to columns. And under, sorry, under documents, McEwen, business computing, and all of these, um, all of these student data files that we might need. So if I move this one over to the left, perhaps, and this one to the right, um, I'm in a position to start doing the steps of uh, the second half of the assignment. So I might need to uh, grab all of the Excel files or the smallest um, JPEG files or things like that. So. Remember that you have these two views, so if you view, view it by list, there's all those files again, and you can sort them, for example, by size. So each time you click on it, it's largest to smallest, smallest to largest. By kind, which would put all the JPEG files together. By name, um, it will sort alphabetically. And just one other comment about sorting. So, um, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, for example, it looks like one, two, three, four, five of these files are all 9K in size. That doesn't mean they are exactly the same size. It is uh, kind of uh, eliminating any decimal places. So uh, this 10 is definitely bigger than this 9. This 9 is bigger than this one, which is bigger than this one, which is bigger than this one all the way down to 8. So even though they all say 9, they are um, slightly different in size, just like if uh, I did a quick survey of the class and said how many of you are 19 years old, um, even uh, even if you uh, a number of you were 19, your birthdays are on different days, so you are slightly older or younger than your peers. Okay. And I think that's about it. That should give you a good start. So if I wanted uh, the first nine Excel files, for example, I might click on the first one and then hold the Shift key down as I used the down arrow. And I could count how many I needed. And then just be careful in the assignment whether it says Move or Copy. So if I was going to move things into another folder, I could simply drag them from one spot to another. But if it says copy, make sure you right click and do something like copy and then open up another folder and choose paste. And I think that's about it. Thanks very much.